8 Best Scream 6 Fan Theories and Predictions According to Reddit, Scream 6 has had its release date announced, and Redditors are clamoring for their next ghost face go-round. They even have theories on how it will go. Scream 6 was announced shortly after the success of Scream in January and it looks like things are stacking up to move quickly. The next installment is now dated for March 2023, just 14 short months after the release of the fifth installment, which is the first time a Scream sequel has come out only one year later since all the way back in 1997 with Scream 2. Redditors know what they want from the sequel, and the franchise as a whole, but they also hold theories on just how it will shake out. Perhaps some Reddit users' desires match up with others' predictions, or perhaps not, but either way fan anticipation is at a fever pitch. Dewey comes back. Scream is one of the definitive 90s movies because Woodsboro and its inhabitants felt so relatable. No one was more lovable than Dewey Riley, however, which made his death in the fifth installment a heartbreaker. However, in an admittedly implausible theory, Elder Tree 09424 thinks he'll come back as the killer. Plot twist, Dewey. I know. I know, but wouldn't that be a wild ride Kirby is in the message boarding, biding her time until bam. It hits her. But she's thrown off by the news. That is until the murders continue. She is under witness protection, no one knows she is alive. So she takes to Woodsboro. To connect the dots, maybe see a familiar face. Sam turns evil. Of all the most shocking twists in the Scream franchise's most recent installment, the reveal that Sam is actually the daughter of Billy Loomis is probably the biggest. John 230770 thinks she'll ultimately follow in her father's footsteps, writing Sam turns evil. I feel like it could be an interesting twist. Oh, 017 Delta then replied, I feel like this would be such a good direction. It's definitely something that will be explored further, especially since they've already gotten Skeet Ulrich back once, and the only character Loomis is connected to will inevitably be a big focus in Scream 6. The Cult of Ghost Face Scream is known for incorporating more than one antagonist, but what about a cabal of ghost face masked evildoers? This is how Dragon Audrey thinks it's going to go, I think it's going to be a cult. That's a theme Scream hasn't tackled yet. It would make sense, as the franchise's sequels tend to have a focus on copycat killing, particularly in terms of Billy Loomis and Stu Maché's influence. It's an even more plausible route considering Scream, 2022, brought up Reddit toxic fandom. There's no reason a mass of killers couldn't swarm in on Sydney or other legacy characters. New Sydney, Dewey, Gale, and Randy. Randy Meeks was one of horror's best sidekicks because he knew his stuff well enough to survive, at least for one movie. There's an argument that Scream, 2022, is setting up the same dynamic that existed at the end of Scream, 1996, Sydney, Dewey, Gale, and Randy. Sydney and Gale are still alive, but they'd be replaced by Sam and Tara Carpenter, respectively. Then Chad Meeks would take over the Dewey role while Mindy stepped into the role once occupied by her grandfather. It will open with Sam. Like how Scream opened with Tara, Scream 6 could open with her sister, Sam. However, this time, it's Mr. Ghostface who doesn't make the sequel. A now-deleted user wrote I like the idea of opening with Sam, the way they opened with Tara last time. But this time she actually gets in a fight and survives Ghostface, killing them and unmasks the killer. The Redditor goes on to say that the main focus of the narrative would then be the Carpenter sisters and Sydney trying to find out who the ghost face partner is. Ghosts of Scream Movies Past Detective Mark Kincaid, Patrick Dempsey, from Scream 3 and Kirby Reed from Scream 4 were both confirmed to be alive and well in the newest installment. However, it's questionable if they will return for Scream 6. Dewey's death brought out Sydney, so it seems obvious what would bring out her husband, Kincaid. Regardless, fans want the two to return. Like Jake Cake, who wrote, Mark and Kirby then made a fingers crossed emoji. Chris Goo 44. Later brings up one last recurring character who did make an appearance in the 2022 installment, they better not touch Martha. Sheriff Hicks was killed in the fifth installment, so the Redditor should never say never. A third killer. In 2022. One of the major things on fans' wish lists for Scream 6 is for it to explore the competing killer angle. It would be new ground for the franchise, just like having one killer who doesn't participate in the reveal. Jack's fighter thinks that was the case with the most recent movie, and they think they know who it was, I'm starting to think that Mindy might also have been a part of it, that whole entire basement scene with Amber has hidden context if she really is the killer lol. And then there's also the fact that Amber didn't kill her when she had an opportunity when everyone was dipping after her big reveal. 
she could have killed her right after they were running down the basement but instead left her alive. It's true, Amber did have ample opportunity while they were in the basement, and there's always the chance she was the one in the costume while Mindy was reliving her grandfather's iconic turnaround scene. Sydney will be targeted. Tannis8998 has a very interesting, and rational, theory for how the next installment will go, and it's all Sid. The Redditor wrote, well we see in this one that Sydney now has a husband and family, maybe the next one takes place outside Woodsboro and has her being personally targeted alone with people in her life by a ghost face who wants to kill the franchise by getting rid of its face, Sydney. So now Sydney has to not only save herself but her family. It'd be fun, her sitting her family down and teaching them the rules. It's an interesting theory and it would be a different enough direction for the franchise to go. But Cobra Kai since 1984 doesn't seem to agree, because they wrote I can't see Sydney having major roles in screen films going forward. Sam is the final girl now and it is time to pass the torch. The point about the series passing the torch is sound, but she's also Sydney Prescott, so it's not difficult to imagine her being a part of Scream 6 and most likely even Scream 7. Furthermore, Scream, 2022, established two protagonists, Sam and Tara.